ni pedang sobhai phi shakane ka program health essentials kane ka program ka juan ra se phi ya ki jinga kran bat ki jinga tip se phi halor ki phang ba phera phera ki bei dei bat ka koi ka kya ndu byang bat phi ki parlog ki bajia pet ya kare ka program health essentials bar ho ai kare ka program ka bangi ngai scam ka lawana shibun ki jingmen to ya phi ki parlog ki ba pet minot ya kare ka program bar ho ai ngi juyo ya ki doctor bar ki ryu shampang ka kot ka kya ki bajuan ban batai ngi ya shibun ki ja jingpang ki bangi don kam bantip ya ka dau ba penlong iki ya ki lat sumar bat kum ta ter ter ते मता का स्नी रूप की डॉन बन्या क्रेन छफंग कवे का जिंपंग का बा की खट का हेपेटाइटिस बात न नीलबु का फंग ये कने मता का स्नी कलों का जिंग सुमर ये का हेपेटाइटिस खम जान छफी तेले से बुन फी फिम टिप के कने का हेपेटाइटिस ते कुमता नी डॉन रंगकाट बात नी ई डॉक्टर अलका फ्लोरा मरंग ई बडे ई मेडिकल स्पेशलिस्ट जों का गणेश दास हॉस्पिटल शिलोंग बात कुम जो रू ई बा रिसबुन मरबन्यांग ई बडे ई टेक्निकल ऑफिसर जों का नेशनल वायरल हेपेटाइटिस प्रोग्राम एनएचएम तेखने का पोर ग अपने सो भाई नी डॉक्टर बरो अनवन डॉक्टर मरक बात कुम जो रू ई बा रिसबुन शकने का प्रोग्राम ते हो आज का 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 प्रोग्राम ग जों ई मता का सिंगिंग इन हब ले लांग द कखतेन फरेंग बात कखतेन खासी बात ई डॉक्टर अलका फ्लोरा मरक इन सज जुबाब ई जिंकली हा कखतेन फरेंग मगर सवाल लम्बे फी का तो कहने पार के जिंग बताए हाँ लोर के एक बार इक्रेन बान इबारिस बन पान इक्रेन हाँ कहते हैं खासी सो डॉक्टर मारा कल्टन टू यू फर्स्ट सो एट द बिगिनिंग कैन यू प्लीज बेसिकली एक्सप्लेन टू आवर ऑडियंस व्हाट इज हेपेटाइटिस व्हाट इज हेपेटाइटिस डिजीज थैंक यू वेरी मच आई एम वेरी प्ल Uh, when we say hepatitis, basically it is a disease which touches the liver. Hepatitis, as in liver, itis, as inflammation of the liver. Mm -hmm. So basically, we have uh, five types of hepatitis, which is currently uh, causing uh, uh, problems to our to uh, to us uh, as a whole. So the virus ranges from uh, A to E. Mm -hmm. So uh, them being designated as A, B, C, D, E. Uh, a and E are basically the fecal oral, oral route. That is, it happens when we, when our sanitary conditions are not very good. Uh, it happens uh, person to person transmission uh, transmission when the uh, uh, through food handlers, uh, when we do not maintain the personal hygiene of ourselves, then when there is overcrowding in certain areas. So those are the situations where we encounter A and E. These are uh, these are uh, usually self limiting. Mm -hmm. They become better on their own. There is no specific treatment to them as such, but symptomatic treatment. Uh, whereas, if uh, however, these are also uh, possible. These are these can also cause uh, severe disease, which can lead to acute liver failure if it is not intervened in time, and if and in extremes of age. If a person is too young or too old, in such situations, the person can uh, encounter a severe form of the disease, mm -hmm. where it can lead to acute <coughs> liver failure. In, you, in normally healthy individuals who have not suffered previously or normally healthy at the moment, if they contract this infection that is A and E, they usually uh, recover on their own with symptomatic treatment, with supportive treatment. However, if they, if they belong to the category where they are uh, immune compromised or if they have some comorbidities like, type, like mm -hmm. diabetes or if they are in the extremes of age, that is when we have to be careful for them and uh, they need uh, regular follow-up and monitoring. So basically, these are fecal oral route, and we can just manage them uh, by cleaning our surroundings, by uh, maintaining personal personal hygiene, sanitation, overcrowding. If we can address these issues, then these are basically preventable. Mm -hmm. And they also have vaccines. So uh, we we usually give these vaccines in, at a, at a young age. So uh, if the infants are able to avail these vaccines at a very young age, at the proper time, at the correct time, mm -hmm. they remain uh, disease free. 
-hmm. When you say vaccines, uh, doctor, it's part of the yes, immunization? Yes, it's part of the immunization schedule. Okay. Yes, it's part of the immunization schedule. So mm -hmm. we would encourage people to go and get these vaccines. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then uh, now coming to the uh, hepatitis B, C, and E, uh, B, C, and D. D. This is basically, uh, oh, these, these basically happen through, through uh, se uh, sexual routes, through blood transfusion routes, mm -hmm. and through uh, oral and other bodily fluids. Uh, specifically hepatitis B. This uh, is very important in the setting of a pregnant mother and her child. Mm -hmm. It is important, why? Because a baby who has acquired the infection uh, while in the mother's womb or during the delivery, mm -hmm. that baby, if not, if, uh, if not uh, properly treated or properly given the right uh, medications or treated properly, can go on to develop a more chronic form of the disease, which at their age, uh, it's difficult to uh, gauge the, the severity at that age, but as that person progresses to a, most, to a higher state of chronicity, the person uh, develops more and more complications. Mm -hmm. And uh, studies have shown that uh, infants who acquire this uh, are 90% more, are more susceptible to acquire the chronic form of the disease, mm -hmm. which, uh, which will certainly lead to some sort of liver impairment in their future. Mm. Then about one to five, one about uh, ten to twenty percent of the children who acquire it in the age of one to five years, are the ones who uh, will def will go to chronicity, and less than five percent of the adults who acquire this at a, at a at a later age, they uh, do go on to develop chronicity, but the percentage is very very low. So mm. here comes the importance of hepatitis B in a setting where a mother is pregnant, has the has the disease, and needs to be uh, she needs to be monitored. And the baby who is born also needs to uh, uh, receive the right treatment at mm -hmm. that moment. That is what we call the HBIG, that is the hepatitis B immunoglobulin, mm -hmm. which, the per which the baby is required to receive so that we break this transmission. Mm -hmm. See, horizontal transmission is common in hepatitis B. That is, that is how we know from the oral, from the fluids, from bodily fluids, from blood transfusions, through sexual roots, through perinatal roots. However, the most important here we need to be considering is uh, the perinatal route the mother to child transmission to route child. where which will save many lives if mm -hmm. not if not i mean uh, if not more uh, so that we, we so we need to uh, we need to uh, emphasize the importance of this immunization in pregnant mothers mm -hmm. as well as if the mother is already pregnant then the reception of this treatment of this treatment for the baby mm -hmm. at the time of the thing at the time of the birth and uh, if the person is if a mother is found to be positive and she she uh, and her viral load that is the amount of virus in her body is more she can receive treatment at the time of her pregnancy as well if it if we uh, discover it early if we mm. start treatment early then we can um, reduce uh, reduce the number the, the number of people the number of kids the number of children who will be transmitted this disease so herein lies the importance of hepatitis b and hepatitis B is important because though it is a is, though it is a disease, a severe disease, there is vaccination available. There mm. is vaccination available for this particular disease. So I would I would uh, reach out to our people to kindly mm. avail of this opportunity which has been given to us free of cost, especially mm -hmm. at, at government <coughs> settings, right? Mm -hmm. Then, uh, so basically, even hepatitis C is the same. A to uh, acute and chronic situations both. Acute situations, it uh, the, the symptoms are similar. They have like nausea, vomiting, mm -hmm. myalgia, uh, sore throat, coryza that is, that is running running nose, uh, watering of the eyes. Basically, the symptoms are, are the same. However, uh, the more important thing here is some people will recover spontaneously. However, some will again grow to chronicity. So here in hepatitis C, why why it is more important is because we see this more in the high risk groups, and the high risk groups. Uh, are the people who inject themselves mm -hmm. with drugs. Okay, doctor, I think you'll, you know, you'll better explain it later on. Yes, Maybe yes, I yes. can go to uh, Bari's yes, also. Yes, yes. Uh, mm. uh, but how do you say that you have to do it? You have to do it, 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 Crunch pang jong katika hepatitis. Oo, nakaliang jong ka government kaya kaya don yung kini programs kiba latip kerteng kung ka national viral hepatitis surveillance program. Kata ka long ka program kaba kipet yaki data, but kipet yaka ni ka prevalence rate jong ka jong jong ni using pang. But kawaypat kadi ka national viral hepatitis control program yaka bangi 
Gelasim Daka NHM Kebaha Apu Ajangka National Health Mission Buat kini artili hi kia Terai ringkat-ringkat Buat kia kia keba mengi Ngilam naka nika control program Ngilong Ngilong lang buat kanika surveillance Sometimes surveillance kaya tu yang ni Buat kidan kata-kata Ki seru prevalence Buat ngi pada Kumka control program pada ngi Ngilam ya kita ki data Buat ngi Uh, go ahead kan nong ma kumno bang kini ingin provide ya kita ki services te uh, haka state ke chongi uh, ni dan ya kini ka national viral hepatitis control program hmm. ka baha papo jong ka national health mission but uh, ngi las dang ya kini ka program haka state ka jela ka chongi ha u ar pratrik u bnai august uh, arjar khat khandai but mentala uh, along uh, lines nam tam ai eh, ngi la run ya kini ka program buat ngila sem ru cibun ki jing mentoi ka bang ngila la ban ai sian nak benta jong ki pat ba jong ka jella mhm teh ka bayade bat kene ka jella ka jungi kumno ka jing mo ka jing long kenrei jong kene ka jing pang hepatitis eh ya menta hi nomor ha ka por bingya stang ya kene ka program ngi dang long tong very ha ka initial stage mo ngila ban au ngi dang stang ya kene ka program bat kat kum ka jing betha na ka liang jong ka sarkar ke meru kalong bangin target cuy kini ki high risk groups ni don kini ki high risk groups kini ki ki breu ki ba long kam ki bala ban yo kloi ban yo kam ki kloi ban yo kam kini ki jingpang ba da ni sem ba ki ka ba kambun hi kin dei ki cases ki dei ba ki tu ki ki kena samla ki ba ki ba use ya u injection kan ba ki ba le non kami ki drugs ha ki ba non kami ki drugs intravenous te bat na kaliang chongka program ngila enroll ki ba khambun hi gide na kita bat na nomor ba kum ka program ngi dan ya kene ka jinge trailang bat ka megalaya is control society bat nang tur ngi jiyo equipation ki balong ki badan nang ya HIV te makir ki ha pha kata hi ka jo ka category kita ki high risk groups bat ngi sham ba khambun hi ki ki dei na kum kita ki cases kan hang ni a jala jong e Tok kubli shibun ba ni shibun ti mentangan pai bian she i doktor marak bat hashwa <hesitation> kwa man shu pai shi i par loki jungi ba i doktor marak i la bat tai shi pang kan di ka <hesitation> jing pang hepatitis ba kadai ka ba kta ya u ya u liver ba ki don kita ki ba <hesitation> kita ki ba ki la bentana du ka a b c d e ba i la bat tai hashwa man ne ba kan di ka jing pang <hesitation> e bat i ka dai hi na ka bentak ka i di man sumal ya kan di ka jing le akhoj mo haka jinglet pan khana bad haki mo ban ban sumar ko ya ka rukum kikti nang ta ka rukum bam nang ta ka rukum let pan khana namar try bad hadian ka covid ngi sangi la ya nang bad ngi la kham ya start bah ban mo ban sumar ko ya la di namar bakat tu ngi la mat ya ka jing yo pang yo covid namar ba ka jing bom biang ka jing le ko te ka kham kong san hi ka dai ka ta hi ka jing le ko te Ila bata iru hang ni bal ka ka ni ka jing pang ka la ban ban ka ta mo i ki ba red ba i ki ba na san ru kum jo ba ka ni ka jing pang b c ba d ba ka la ban yo na ka ni ka jing shong ka ka la ban ding na ka jing shong ka ba ki ta ki la don ni u ni ku nyang jing pang la ni ka jing shong ka ba ta ba na ta ka jing a a snam la ni ba i jing yo e ka snam na ki ta ki la don ni u ni ku nyang jing pang ba ka jing bet na ka kmi sha i khun Uh, Tiga ekor bokong san kalong ban shim ya kini kijing aitika ya kikun dan ban shim ya kijing aitika bat uh, kikmiru wat habalada isla shim ya kiki baki don ya kini ka ya kini 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 kijing pang ya kiru la ban sedang ya kiki treatment bat ban ai ya kata ka jing ai treatment la ni ketika tikita kilong tan lem kot ya kaba i doktor ila batai <hesitation> mene hashwa bat mentang kwa ban pa bia shi doktor ban kelipat shafang kini ki briu ki bakloi. Ban yok kem ye kini ki jing pang. Yes, doctor, can you continue with those a uh, high risk group? Yes, yes. As I was saying, uh, the high risk groups for hepatitis B, C, and B, C, and D. This is basically through the procutaneous route, through the through the blood routes. Uh, so uh, the high risk groups that we club in this group are those who, who inject themselves with drugs, mm. who are drug abusers, who have men who have sex with men. Mm. The MSMs, mm. then female sex workers, and people who receive blood transfusion before 
June 2001. That is before the HCV testing was made mandatory for those who are rece- who, for those blood donors. Mm-hmm. So blood donors have to be tested mandatorily now. But before two thou- before June two thou- 2001, this test was not being done. So all those who have received blood before 2001, mm-hmm. we need to be asking them as well. And people who need frequent blood transfusions, like those who have blood disorders like thalassemias, anemias, mm-hmm. uh, and different forms of anemia, be it natural or be it uh, acquired from other diseases. Mm-hmm. And then people living with HIV AIDS, co- co- co-infection with he- hepatitis B, C and HIV is usually a very common occurrence. Mm. So we need to be very careful in such patients, in such people. And inmates of prisons and those who live in closed settings mm. where you know this, uh, this exchange of bodily fluids or this exchange of blood or blood products is a possibility. In such situations, we need to be more careful. Mm. So these are called the high-risk groups and these are, the, these are the people we need to be focusing our energy, focusing our... Uh, thing on more focusing on, on more so that we can reach out to them and this can be prevented mm-hmm. so uh, and uh, I would, what I would like to emphasize is for hepatitis C there is no vaccine available yet mm-hmm. so in the case of hepatitis C prevention is the best cure so okay. hepatitis B we have a vaccine like I already said mm-hmm. even for kids even for adults we have the vaccination but I would like to emphasize hepatitis C does not have mm-hmm. vaccine does not have a vaccine the only way to prevent is by vaccination And the only way to treat is through medicines. Mm-hmm. So uh, in this case, I would like to reiterate prevention is much, much better than mm-hmm. cure. Uh, so uh, hepatitis C is fatal, in other words? It's uh, fatal without treatment mm-hmm. and if discovered at a later stage. And uh, what happens is with hepatitis B, C and E, it is, uh, it, 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 uh, you, it, one, it leads to chronicity mm-hmm. and the other it leads to sequelae, like uh, uh, follow-ups like hepatite, hepatocellular carcinoma, cirrhosis. So these are the things we need to be very careful of. It is not that hepatitis A and, D, A and E will not cause this. It may cause, mm-hmm. but in a very, very minimal percentage of people. Mm-hmm. However, if you talk about B, C and E, B, C and D, these are, these are the uh, diseases or these are the viruses which cause the disease to grow into chronicity. And if the chronicity is maintained as such without treatment or without follow-up, without proper investigations, that person may or may not, uh, again, uh, progress to cirrhosis and other conditions like hepatocellular failure and mm. acute, li- acute on chronic liver failure. So uh, we want to avoid those complications. That is why we have brought up this program mm-hmm. so that we are able to identify such people, identify such high-risk groups, identify and treat them mm-hmm. when it is still possible. Mm-hmm. The doctor is not a doctor, but he is a doctor, 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 Uh, Hashwa jo kata empat jam lapan tiga kam ni kata ban ban le ikan screening ikan kita kiba ai ikan ni kaji ai senam months ngobah nang tak kiba kita kibriu kiba em bat u HIV um, bat kum tak kini kita kita ki high risk group la ni kita kiba long kloy bah ban yok kem ya uniuk yang jengpang bat kum bai doktor ila batai kum tak ila das ila da shun bah bah ke hepatitis C empat don vaksin la ni empat don kanu mo ka ke injection uh, nak ke bentak ke hepatitis C te ke badon kam e ka long yang i ban yada yala die ban nom yok pang la ni ban nom yok kem uh, ya kene ka jengpang So, doctor, basically, um, hepatitis C is caused by a virus, yes, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, you need to say hepatitis C, doctor, is not a virus. a virus. The kumta i doktor ila batai kitu kilat kilenti bagi don kampanye da ban sumar de namar ba kadehi ka ba jenjar hadin balayo pange ka and doctor what about these people because um, i mean we, we usually witness people who are alcoholics yes. usually de- de- usually develop a hepatitis and then eventually develop to yes. c and then eventually you know yes. uh, was fatal yes so uh, is alcoholism one of the causing agent for getting hepatitis, hepatitis alcoholism per se is will not cause hepatitis uh, because the hepatitis caused by this by viral by mm. viral hepatitis we basically we actually mean the hepatitis caused by the virus, virus. but 
if a person is uh, an alcoholic who mm. uses a, a fair amount of alcohol mm. that person is more susceptible to contract a more serious mm. form of the disease mm -hmm. suppose a person is already has already contracted the virus because the only re only way you can uh, can have viral hepatitis is if we have contracted the virus but okay. uh, many a times we see uh, 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 such viral such people have acquired the virus they're usually also alcoholics so mm. that compounds their disease further that makes it that makes it makes them susceptible to progress faster to cirrhosis or progress faster to hepatitis cellular carcinoma or liver injury for that matter mm. so these are more susceptible yes but uh, alcohol per se does not cause viral hepatitis as the name says it's viral hepatitis mm -hmm. so it will cause the disease to progress faster become a more serious form of disease mm -hmm. Okay, Tegum Takita Kiba, Bunsin coming G. E. Moki, Brio Kiba, Lakani, Baka Jing Dikian, but Bunsin Kiju, Yakanika Jing Shitom, Yau, liver, Molani, if I don't know it, bring you on, but Bunsin Kiju, Yakanika Jing Pang, hepatitis, but don't know if you are hepatitis C, but Hadu Ba, Lutin or Mo, Lani, Yakajing Im Kajunki, Nay Doctor He Ongba, they by Yoni, Yaka hepatitis C, they by your only virus, but Habat Lada Dikian lay, Lada Kerni Liga Jing Dikian, Kakampan Jur. But can I book you to Brio Hakajin Cloy when your chem your new virus? They come taka de hika, jing yada, but kajing kit kli he she met she met banyada. If I make, yes, if I make a uh, add to it, alcohol causes alcoholic hepatitis, it yes. does cause hepatitis, but viral hepatitis per se is not because of alcohol, like it causes a separate form of hepatitis. Mm -hmm. Yes, so, so that I will explain. Kadon kajing a pair had in gata kajing ka hepatitis, kabla long the kajing di kerni yaka kya, exactly, yes. but kataka. Viral yes, hepatitis, kalongbala yo nakabad pi yo yo ne u kanyang jing pang lani yo uta u virus. Okay, thank you, doctor. And ba disbon ngan five years pi. The yakin yaki yakin yaki components mo jong yaki program ta tu pila laban batay lo mene pirang don chuki ke ban kambatay sha yengi. You don't hakan yaka program jong yaki the national viral hepatitis control program. You don't lightly yaki components. Kita akan dan kam, buat kata kita ada prevention components. Kita akan ngi ngi le, kemudian ngi ai, kita ki awareness ngi ju ngi le, kini ki outreach cam, buat ngi ju pentip buat ba, sepang jong kajing kia jong kini kajing pang, buat ki lan jing ada baru ngi ju ngi se pentip ling ba jong kita ka preventif component, buat ke baar pada kita ka screening. Kita screening component pada ngi le ngi ngi provide ya kini ki screening kits. Ki, but ya kita kiki screening kits ni ay hadu haki sub center level, but ya baru hi kita dan ya kum kita kiki signs but kiki symptoms, ni ni la benle ya kiki screening naben tau hepatitis C, but hepatitis B pat ni le kam kerpang naben tau kilong kemi ya kita armet mo, nomor bagi ni ni haban screen ya kiki nomor kat kum kajing betah naka Sorkar kami rekolong bah, ni di ban screen ya ki sispa nak sispa, baik. Ka hundred percent screening for hepatitis B, ka di ban long ha ha kejelahi berakwe, ha ka ha ka rihi berakwe. Tengi yo hepatitis B kemud sisian bah ki kini ki ANM selain ki asha ki pentip badan i ki long kami ki bah armen. Kemud ha ka ha ka tu kan list kejongki berkilia ya kita ki testing. Hepatitis B rumah mereka kala la kentup lah hang tu, but way berkilah yo yang kata kas screening la laki la yo yang kata kas jingpang la dia sengi la ban orang ki long positif, kemudian ni la ban refer ya ki pada saya kini ki district hospital, kena mungkin yo ya kencing sumar, but kebalai pada kan long ke treatment komponen, ke treatment komponen ke komponen ke debat ke jing sumar, ya keba ni a nak bentar kini ki nongpang ki pada yo ya kene ke viral hepatitis. La benda itu hepatitis C ro ni la sedang ya ke treatment, but hepatitis B ro ni la sedang ya ke treatment. Tapi ni kilong lain tu lagi taki komponen skipa ha apa apa jom kene ke program. Tak kau boleh sibun ba sibun ni kata kajing batai jom pimo ya kini ki komponen sebab per 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 hapo kene ke program kebaka sorkar kepenyat ya kebante lakam ya kene ke ya kene kajing pang hepatitis. Doctor, you, earlier you have explained a little bit about the, the mode of uh, transmission. So can you elaborate more about the mode of transmission so that our viewers, our audience, you know, can yes. uh, really sink in, no? Yes. <laughs> so uh, for, for hepatitis A and E, like uh, re right said earlier, mm -hmm. it is mostly the fecal oral route. That means if we have not maintained the sanitation, if your mm -hmm. personal hygiene is not maintained, then uh, it can 
uh, transmit from one person to uh, to another through our hands, uh, through our, through our daily activities. What we use our utensils mm. or the water which we use is not good. So basically, that is fecal oral route, which is from the mouth, from mm. the from the anus to the mouth. So that mm. is how it happens. But B, C, and D is what happens. What happens is uh, these are through bodily fluids. It's either by the blood and blood products, uh, through sexual route, mm. through the uh, through um, perinatal route, that is mother to the child, then uh, through using ne needles, used mm. needles. If you're sharing used needles, you can you can have that, and you have transfused blood and blood products which have not been uh, screened for hepatitis. Mm. So that is another 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 route we can get that. And uh, you know, basic. Uh, uh, what I would like to inform the viewers is that uh, we don't usually pay attention to these daily activities. Like when we go to a barber, we have a nick mm -hmm. or a shave, or we have used someone else's toothbrush by mistake. Mm. So even that can be another source of infection, another source of infection from the barbers. Or suppose we have used someone's used towel, and we did not know we did not know it was a used towel from a person who was already suffering from the disease. That can also be a source. Many a times when patients come to us. The, di the origin of the disease is not known because mm -hmm. we don't know how the person contracted the disease. If we go through them, we, we enlist a number of, uh, uh, a number of lists. Ki, have you experienced this? Did you ever used, use used syringes? Did you mm -hmm. ever you know, have uh, un unprotected uh, in intercourse with someone you didn't know or someone's status who was not known? Uh, we ask them all these lists of questions that we're supposed to ask. Mm -hmm. Very often, the answer to all of them is no. Mm. So, very, uh, so uh, through the small acts where we are not really conscious about what what, what we are doing, we can get from there, mm. because these are basically special body fluids. So, any setting where the body fluid is uh, expected to be exposed, mm. like anywhere in the public in public settings where we are you no know, inter interacting with so many people at the, in the same uh, crowded area or in the mm. same area, so that can be a source of infection as well. Mm. We only pay attention to this major, major thing like you know using ins using uh, injections, injections or maybe oral route, uh, sorry, sexual route, mm. or mother to child. We, we we look at all that, but basically we need to be careful. We need to be mindful of where we are and how we use our products, especially in such an age. Especially mm. after COVID, we need to be more and more careful, mm -hmm. not just for not just for uh, like just for not just for hepatitis. There are many other diseases which are spread like that. Mm. So yes, we need to be careful of the mind of the little settings, especially those who go to these common barbers, common settings where we use those uh, use uh, towels mm. or use those settings so we need to be careful in such ways mm -hmm. but this disease is not airborne right? it's not airborne it's yes. not that airborne. is not airborne mm -hmm. it is only passed on through bodily fluids be mm. it saliva be it blood be it blood products or be it other body secretions like we have mm. right so that is where we get this disease from it is not airborne i we have to clarify that it mm -hmm. is not airborne but it is transmit it is it is uh, horizontally transmitted from one person, person to, another to another when we're not being careful of our surroundings mm -hmm. usually yes mm -hmm. The doctor ka ila batai ba kani ka jingpang kam day ka ba don hakal air lan ni bala ban bit da ka ba ring men siem ka nu kal air mo ka ba uni khnyang jingpang udan nei ka de ka ba ye bit bit na we brio sha we brio but ka ba doctor ila batai men hashwaru ka de ka jing long pikir hi ka jong ishimet shimet bang in myo kem ye uni khnyang jingpang so doctor what are the uh, you know uh, initial uh, signs and symptoms where a person who might have contracted this the virus you know he should yes. take note yes so uh, in case of the fecal oral hepatitis viruses it's usually uh, that's how all the, all the sicknesses start like fatigue and uh, unexplained fatigue just tiredness the whole day fever off and on mm. or sudden acute pain abdomen or chronic pain abdomen which has been like a, a mild pain of the of the stomach stomach ache you can say some people experience diarrhea some people experience vomiting through the fecal oral thing, mm. uh, experience vomiting. And then the jaundice usually appears quite later. First, this prodrome appears. This is called, mm. These are called prodromal symptoms, where a person is experiencing the symptoms that a viral has, that virus has started replication in the body, in the system of the person. So that is where we experience these prodromes, fatigue, tiredness, unable to eat, anorexia, fever, mm. uh, loose stools, vomitings, uh, and you know, the very sight of food, they want to retch, they want to puke, they mm. want to vomit. And then after one or two weeks, the jaundice appears. Mm. And then the liver enlarges mildly. It may or may not enlarge, but that remains for about two, three weeks. And thereafter, it either becomes normal or it remains in that state for a little more. Mm. So basically, that is the, it's, it's like a non, uh, non-specific. You cannot particularly pin it to hepatitis per se. Only when you do the blood test for the person, when you actually in elicit the hepatitis in the bloodstream of the person, only mm. then can you pinpoint saying that this is hepatitis A or E. 
Mm -hmm. So the same goes for uh, and uh, for A and E. Um, before I move on to B C, A and E, there is no chronicity. I mean, these persons, after they've contracted the disease, if they don't belong to the older age group, mm. they usually recover spontaneously. There is no particular cure, like a specific treatment, or like this medicine will cure this. No. Mm -hmm. It is supportive treatment, lots of fluid, lots of rest, and you know, symptomatic treatment mm -hmm. for fever. You give paracetamol and you give other antibiotics so that the person does not progress to having some other infections, right? So that is how we treat for that. But for B, C, and, uh, B, C, and D, uh, th they also have this acute and chronic stage and the sequelae, like I already already mm. mentioned. So acute stage is basically similar. All the serum sickness like syndrome, like you're having all this body ache, all mm. these joint pains, myalgia, as you're having anorexia and you're unable to eat. Mm. You're having all these AGE symptoms like you're having gastritis, you're vomiting out, you're having loose stool. And uh, some symptoms of coriza. Coriza means running nose, watering of the eyes, redness of the eyes. So sometimes we uh, try, tend to neglect it, thinking it's, maybe it's a common cold, maybe it's a viral fever. Of, it is a viral fever, of course, <coughs> but which can progress on to hepatitis. So again, in these patients also, in acute stage, uh, we can only diagnose them when we have, uh, you know, done a few blood tests, investigations, li like liver function tests, where certain points are increased. Then the jaundice is evident, where the bilirubin level goes up mm. to 10, 12, 13, 14, depending on the stage of the disease. Uh, and, and then again, again here, the jaundice comes much later. It does not come at the beginning of the disease. So mm -hmm. at the beginning of the disease, like I said, non-specific symptoms again, fever, myalgia, all that. And uh, only when you elicit the liver, liver tests and all the virus tests that we said, hepatitis B uh, surface antigen or hepatitis C antibodies, only when we've elicited those d tests, mm -hmm. then only we can pinpoint saying that this is this disease, this is mm -hmm. this disease. But essentially, uh, for hepatitis B, there is, uh, there is no uh, antiviral as such at that moment for acute stages. For acute stages, we don't give them antiviral antiviral uh, medications unless totally indicated because those usually clear up in a few months but there are some people who progress on and who will re who will require treatment mm -hmm. so basically there are, there are a subset of people who we who we decide who requires treatment who doesn't require treatment and that is decided at the hospital level so mm -hmm. that's why the treatment is available but we need to decide who needs it who mm -hmm. does not need it because those whoever uh, receives the treatment is not not necessary that everyone will require treatment mm -hmm. they usually our immune system clears up the virus on their own mm -hmm. that's that's one source then uh, for hepatitis C again is this uh, sorry for hepatitis B, so, uh, uh, hepatitis B chronic chronic we need to treat them they require treatment depending on the viral load again. So again, mm. for them, we treat, we dis, we monitor whether the viral load is high or low, and how is the liver function at that moment. So depending on the liver function and the presence of viremia, that is the load, the number of virus in the body, like is it replicated or has the body's immune system been able to uh, ward it off? So if it is able to ward it off, then we don't need treatment for that. But those who go on to have a chronic stage and who are who are having uh, impaired liver functions and who are experiencing uh, symptoms and who need treatment, those are, th those are the subsets we divide and we send for treatment to the model treatment center or wherever they're supposed to be treated. Again, for chronic hepatitis C, C is again follows the same course, mm. acute chronic. So acute stages don't require treatment, but once the acute stage is over, we need to follow them up for chronicity. If they, have, if they continue on to have the chronic disease, if the, if the viral load level in them is persistently high, Mm. and the liver function is deteriorating or if the person is going into cirrhosis or having other, other sequelae, then we also have to treat them. These mm. modalities of treatment are different for both, for hepatitis B, uh, B and C. And uh, if you talk about D, D is, is a, act, uh, actually an opportunistic infection. It affects those individuals who already have a B infection. Okay. And for them, <coughs> this D is important. And this D on its own, is not able to cause severe disease. Mm -hmm. And this again comes into, comes into play in pregnant ladies. In mm -hmm. pregnant ladies who are B positive and who unfortunately acquire this hepatitis D, they are in for a severe, more severe form of disease, uh, a, a more, a more uh, progressive disease, a more uh, faster disease progression. Mm -hmm. So that's what we need to be careful of. D as of now has not assumed much importance yes, well. in our surveillance yet, <coughs> but it's just an extra information mm. regarding this B and D correlation because D as it, uh, D on its own, uh, in, in fact, we have not uh, been able to been able to study on its own. So this is where D comes into D comes into play. So for C again, chronic stage will depend on the liver function, will depend on how the person is progressing or how the person is doing. So uh, depending on that, we'll, we'll see if the person requires treatment. Because again, like I said, many, many individuals clear up the virus on their own. 
Yes. But those are, those required treatment are the ones who have persistent viremia, whose liver functions are persistently uh, deranged, and who may have a chance of uh, progressing into the more severe form of disease, mm. and who have a chance of progressing to HCC, that is hepatocellular carcinoma. And more importance is given on those who have already an underlying cirrhosis, like especially these ca these alcoholic cases mm. or patients who have other forms of disease, other liver mm. disease, right? So that is where the importance comes in. So cirrhotic, pe cirrhotic uh, patients need treatment as soon as possible, so mm. as to arrest the liver injury, the further liver injury. Okay. Thank you, Doctor. We shall continue, but in the time, uh, you can get your cranky jungy, had in bang in let's show you can get your pinbuna. As a young teenager, I was fun loving and was enjoying a good, healthy life with my friends. I was barely 18 when I got into bad habits and took a bold step by experimenting with alcohol, tobacco and smoking weed. Days go by and I felt that drinking and smoking gave me no more solace and I was craving for more. So I came across friends who introduced me to drugs and I started using drugs. Eventually the obsession with drugs kick-started. I wanted more and more drugs. I totally became dependent on drugs and I was high on drugs all the time. Those days, while I was using drugs, I don't just like it, I loved it. As time passed by, I started using syringes and sometimes shared syringes with my friends using injectable drugs. Not knowing that sharing needles and syringes is unsafe and dangerous, I fell into the trap. Gradually, my actions got my parents suspicious that there is something wrong with me and immediately they stopped giving me money. Weeks later, I was shattered, became lonely and depressed. I tried calling my friends for drugs as I was suffering, but they declined my calls every time. I tried to reach out to them. I was confused and at my wit's end and did not know where to turn. Finally, I mustered the courage and decided to tell my parents the truth about my addiction problem. My parents, being supportive, immediately decided to get help. I was counseled and also undergone detoxification in the health center. In the process of breaking the chains of addiction, I was diagnosed with Hepatitis C, a highly contagious virus. I was horrified and thought for me, this may be the end. But through my parents' unconditional support, I came to know that help is available at government hospitals. A ray of hope appeared as I was informed that the government of Meghalaya is extending a helping hand towards patients like me to go for treatment and that too for free. I decided to stop using drugs and got myself treated for Hepatitis C. I have come to realize that drug addiction had almost consumed my life. It has been five years now that I have stopped using drugs. I felt that I am a new person now, living a fulfilling and healthy life. My message to the people out there, don't try drugs, not with anyone. Drug dependency is a gateway to many other risky health conditions. Remember, we are all free to choose the life we want, but we are never free from the consequences of our choices. There is no one else who will suffer ill health other than you if you use drugs. Remember to surround yourself with good people, people who will uplift your life. Hepatitis is treatable. Get yourself tested and treated. Ini pahami asyik ke studio, bat kum mentang ini beteng kejinya keren, bat i doktor marang, bat kum juru, bat i bat Lisbon, halo kene ke pang, ke hepatitis. Di mentang bat Lisbon ngekuat ban keli, hipat ya kini ki, mo ki jing syakri lani ki services ki ba, ki beri ki lak ban yuk. Oh, 
ki services ka bangi nakleng jong ka program hi ngi ngi ai ka long ba ka mangla yathu mane ka kawe ka dei ka screening but ya ka screening hi ngi la cascade chadu chuki sub center level but hang ha ha ki sub center ha ki phc chc skill ya ki ni ki usual screening la provide ya ki ya ki to ki kids ki ba ki don kam no banta ban test ya ni u jingpang hepatitis the na lor jong kata la long reactive part ka treatment la ni ka jing sumar ah ho na ka liang jong ka sarkar kemi ka la sedang ka la push ba ngin hear sedu shaki phc ro re na ka liang jong ka program ngim pan la ban ne kom ta re wala ka ta ro ki ka jing sumar pat ngi la ban yo ha ki district hospital mo kum ki ki civil hospital ki ba ha baro hi ki district ha baro khat we district ngi don ya ki treatment centers ka bangi khat but hang tu ngi don ki ki medical officers ki ba la ban ai ki ni ki jing sumar na ka ban ta ki nong pang ki ba le se la ban de ki one mate direct ha ka treatment center la ni ki ba refer na ki ki sub center ki phc ba ki cic te na lor jong ka ta ngi ai ru ya ya ka ni ka preventive components mo ko ba ka ran na ngi don ru ya ki ni ki hepatitis b vaccination Hoi na kaliang jong ka <hesitation> immunization program ki ai na ka benta jong ki konlong ki ba maria ka ki yo yo tu zero dos had be zero dos <hesitation> kat ba ya ki ni ki hires group spot ya <hesitation> lada ki ni screen ya ki ngi tip ba ki ki wan na ka background ba ki dei ki hires groups ni screen yo hepatitis b ba hadin ba ngi lap ba ki long negative lada ki long negative ke bot ngi ngi don ngi don ka provision ke ngi bangi ai o hepatitis b na ka benta ka jong ki khnang ba le se namar ba ki don ha ka lifestyle kum ban em ha ka high risk groups kum ki high risk groups kumot hadian habut kinum yo so ka new hepatitis b te kumot na lor jong ki khlong ru ka ba ki yo na ka immunization program na ka liang ka program ka jong ngi pada ngi ai na ni u tika hepatitis b na benta ki high risk groups wat kum ju kum la batai i madam ana shakman ngi don ru uni u hepatitis b immunoglobulin ba ka ulong ulong wei na ki lan ba bahatam ban yada mo na ka ni ka ka jingpang khamtam ka bahir pateng na i kemi sai khon ti lada lada ki dei hi ki ki khon bala kha na ki ta ki long kemi ki ba long reactive long ki ba long positive yo hepatitis b screening ka mot ki ta ki khlong ringkat bot utu zero dose hep b zero dose ngin ngin ai ro yo ni u hepatitis b immunoglobulin but na lor jong kata ki services ke ba ngi ai ke long na benta jong ki ni ki ngin ong ko no ki ha ki ki high risk groups hi long ki ba wan na na kaliang jong ka na ki wei pat ki programs bo kum kum megalia age control program but jong ka tb ru mar baki don ki ki ko morbidities ti ya kiru na kaliang na ki ART center ki la wan refer ba kini ki ki patient ki ba ha apo ki badang undergoing ya ka ART treatment kemudian ya kiru ni screen na benta kini ki hepatitis B ba hepatitis C to khumle shibon ba ris bon tu jing batai ki jong phi shaphang mo kini ki lat ki ji ki services la ni ki lat a jing sumar ki ba la ban yo leng ba kini ka program Ha ka ba ka sorkar hi ka pantrei kam mante la kam ya ka jing <hesitation> safriang jong uni ukniang jing pang <hesitation> hepatitis pa pla yos ngong ruwi doktor ruwi la ba tayi ka ta. Te menta la singan pa shi doktor and doktor can you just um at least give us a brief um you know briefly the mode of treatment. I know it can be very extensive but just uh briefly. Yes. Uh, like I'll divide it again to acute chronic. For acute stage it's basically symptomatic treatment, supportive treatment. But for chronic stage uh we need uh, we have different modalities like for hepatitis b it is a monotherapy we treat with one drug it's either tenofovir or entecovir that is also provided from the state uh that uh, for hepatitis b what we need to bear in mind is it is a lifelong treatment once we start once a person is diagnosed as having hepatitis b and the viral load is high what happens is the body is unable to clear off the virus even with the help of medicines clear off completely it will <coughs> remain under control our body's immune, sy immune system will also help in clearing of the virus however the virus will be kept under control mm. but such people with hepatitis chronic hepatitis b 
it will require lifelong treatment. So there'll have to be a lifelong follow-up. Only in chronic. Yes, in chronic mm-hmm. hepatitis. But if it is acute stage and the person is recovered completely and the viral stage is not there, in the, vi- the virus is not there in the body anymore, mm. then the person does not require any treatment. Mm-hmm. However, if the person has progressed, like I said, into chronicity, then that person will requ- require lifelong treatment. Uh, so th- for that, uh, our state has provided this treatment. Yes. Ma'am. So uh, yeah. the, the medicines we have are basically tenofovir and integravir, right? Integravir, yes. So ma'am. these are the medicines that we'll be using mm-hmm. as a monotherapy, one drug. Uh, but if we talk about hepatitis C, hepatitis C is always a multi-drug treatment. It is never it is never controlled with one single agent. Mm-hmm. So what we what we are using now, right now for them, is called directly acting antiviral, so DAAs, directly acting. Antivirals. So mm. these are these are given for a period of twelve weeks or one or or uh, eighteen weeks, depending on the stage and the requirement of the patient. So that is a combination of sofaspivir, velpatasvir, daclatasvir in different com- in different mm. combinations. We also use uh, ribavirin as an agent. However, that uh, medicine has a lot of side effects. So unless completely uh, warranted, unless completely required for the patient, we do not use it. And as of now, I think we have not. Oh, included yes, that in our uh, in our program. Mm-hmm. So uh, what we'll use is a directly rea- directly acting agents, and we use them for 12 weeks in non cirrhotic uh, individuals who do not have any other comorbidities. So we use them, and at the at the beginning of the test, at the beginning of the medications, we do the test where we see the viral load, and then we see them again after uh, every month we see them. However, the viral load testing is done only at the end of the treatment. So if a person has re- rece- uh, achieved SVR, that is the sustained viral response, that means the virus is no longer detectable in the person's blood. Mm. That, that, that person is declared to be cured. Mm. So depending on the stage of the patient and depending if the person is able to take ribavirin or not, the treatment can uh, span from 12 weeks up to 18 weeks, depending mm. on the situation of the patient. So these are what we have at the moment in the current setting. And these are what we are treating it with. And I think for the few patients that we have used, yes, we have received a remarkable a result. Success, I mean, success, success rate is very high. The patient has been diagnosed with hepatitis C. Exactly. The mm-hmm. hepatitis C has been diagnosed with hepatitis C. The first time we have been diagnosed with hepatitis C, we have been diagnosed with Kemudian dengan alat biang yang ke viral load hadian yang kata ke kakus jongki ni semua hado kenai pupra persen yang ke yang ke ego bangi dan ha ke data jongi ha ke ni kastian hado kenai pupra kenai pupra kenai kenai persen kemudian ki kia nak kan? The the key word here being thing their compliance. If the compliance is good, if they're taking the medicines properly, that 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 mm-hmm. I mean the results are very very good very promising indeed mm-hmm. so 12 weeks you know dedicating 12 weeks just once a day it's it's a once a day medicine so once a day medication if you take it properly for 12 weeks as prescribed the results are really 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 promising mm-hmm. yeah. so so, yeah. so where do these patients go for the treatment of uh, uh, they the go medication. to the model treatment uh, center uh, where yeah. we refer them uh, depending on their on their uh, locations. investigations locations. and yeah. locations uh, yeah so yeah if, yeah. if I may uh, Ya kini ki kinong pang, ya ka treatment kumbala ong i madam. Ho ang i ay ha model treatment center kata kada ka Shillong Civil Hospital. Hang tu ngi treat bud ya kini ki complicated, but ki non complicated ro. Ti kumut ki pajba jong ki iu mo ki nong shong jong ka East Kasi Hills Districts. Madang i lap ki long reactive ha por bangi screen. Ti ngi pa ya ki sampul ki ki pa ki sampul jong ki ban le ya ka viral load. Di anda ni lah detect ya ke viral load bagi kalau kita kita dan kamu niyo ya kencing sumar kemud kila benda yang apa civil hospital Shillong. Di hakiwi hakiwi ki district tu kumha Jawai kila benda yang apa Yalong civil hospital cleariat kila yang apa cleariat C H C ke civil cleariat menta nanti kumta hi ya ki civil baru hi jom ki district kila benda ni dan ru ke provision lang kumbang ni lah ayam nak kelihatan jom ke program Bagi nak por sekap por ni jumpin kena ya ki district nodal officer semua ni dan bagi bu kerpang ya kan ni ke hepatitis clinic, but hoi ni 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 dan ni kata kata set up kepada ibat ke treatment center hendak ada ke jauh hi ke UPD center jom ke civil hospital tambah ki ki lihat kau ki ki ni dan pada ki dedicated sengi kan ke sengi ke bagi kerpang kan pada ki kemudian ki patient ki ni orang ya ki bagi nuan hak kata ke sengi Kenang makin itai farmasis ibadah ban ayat tu dawai indon hakata kapor nomor 
ki farmasi su kendai hi na ka civil hospital hi ti ma ki kinon ki ju ki ki jingte ti na banta ga ka program hi na banta ka hepatitis hi kemot ki ngila ai ka provision ki bu ya ka ka special dedicated hepatitis clinic but lingba jong kita ki clinic hi ki treatment centers kemot ki nyo ya ki jing sumar haman la ki district Kemud Kim Dunun kam benda sah hospital kilek be asun. Oh, kisulai kum tu ni ayak kat kumbang ni jule, haka program ni ay udah be uan be arpu pras ni. Kemud di aswa bawun kut ketuka ketem ke arpu pras ni. Kemud ni kihaban one mi, but haka por beki one mi, haka sen ke baar kini haban one raru yo tu u kelong bitar hantu mo. Kini haban pen i ba don dek seki kelat no bandi. Haki jeng buan kam ni, kiki kelet bandi, kiki pin i bahasa sang lightly southly kiki dawai, kiki bagi kelet. Tapi kemud i medical officer hang tu in accordingly in Kenya kita kiki aka warok kenang bah, kadom don geng kah jeng third haka jeng di dawai ke jeng i tak inang pang kan? So doctor, a person infected with this virus, he can you know infect other people as well. Yes. So when can you stop the you know the the spreading of the infection? Is it as immediately after the starting of the treatment, or how do we stop the infection, the spreading of the infection? See, basically, a person who is receiving treatment, we don't we consider them cured only after the after the end of the treatment. So any time in between, we do not we do not give them the green card or the safe thing that they're safe. So they need to be compliant with the medicines. So then, uh, only after we have completed the entire course of the treatment, the person is declared cured. It's not like after one month of treatment or two months of treatment, the person is de person is declared, you know, not uh, not a hazard or maybe not a source of infection. That is not possible. Mm -hmm. So only at the end of the treatment, we consider a person safe, and you know, only after that uh, viral 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 load testing has come back negative or not detectable, only then can we de describe a person as not being a threat or not being a possible source of infection for mm. others. So uh, there's, n there's no such like mid-treatment value. It's only at the end of the treatment that we consider someone being cured mm -hmm. or completely yeah, virus So just as you said, it's a compliance and a compliance, you know, exactly, the patient yes. taking responsibility yes. of not spreading yes. the virus. Yes. Mm. Yes. Tapi doktor ialah batai bagi tu, kita layu ban ban yo, yang ni kencing pang, lah ni ban don yang ni virus, kita layu ban pensafriang si kita wipat, nak kita kita layu bagi doktor ialah batai haswa. Tapi kumta ban pensangge, ia kata kencing safriang jong uni uknyang kencing pang, si kita wipat kalong hi, dah kapakongu ban ban shim ya ke treatment, but kita mula ban ai, ia kata kencing mau kencing sungsungan bahapa dengan ke treatment ru pilak sange ban pensapriang itu tak uknyang jing pang. Nee uni uknyang jing pang udang lah hi ban sapriang. Dari tad anda pilak dap ia ke treatment haduk bagi doktor kila test biang ia ke senam ke jompi kila pet biang ia ke tak utau virus kat nu udon ni kat nu um don shoot dari tad haduk kat tahi bah pilak ban sungsungan bah penem pensapriang shoot si kiwe. Tiada nak kata kedau, kedai hi, kencing ya, simbenta lang lada, menu menu balai ayok kem ya uni uknyang jengpang hak kemet kencing pi, kedai kencing kit klik kencing pi hi ban nom pensapriang ya uni uknyang jengpang bad day ban sim ya ke treatment, bad haduk benda dap ke treatment pi lu pin koy bad kawe lu kenong pinya da. Baik kita hidup kita nampak kiam, ya untuk kita yang jengpang. Tiap kali orang kelak biang atas bagi pin kut no, ya kerana kah program kejengi mentah kejan mid bahawa orang ini layak ya kejengi keren. Kebas ngau tenat nih so nih so tuh lu bagai kah kapang kebayar haduk kata kata balas sing nang yok hi hadian syuk bagi nang yok banyak keren syuk syuk sepang kerana kah jengpang bagi lak bandon kejeng so tuh bat jeng tip kumno banyak dah kumno ban sumari lade bat kumno banyak le bat dek lakam ya kejeng sapriang jong nih kejeng jengpang. Tiada hak apa pun ngai kubley, yes ngai kubley doktor marang berkomjut lu iba. Lisbon nak bentar kejengwan kejengki, hak studio kejengi, ban pensung tu, syapang uniuk yang jengpang hepatitis. Tiada duduk mengenai syambiang, sesi sin kubley fibarok.